Hello everyone! Today we're doing a herping video, actually. We can't do the animals because we're in Florida and I don't have my animals with me. Tony of Uncle Tony Reptiles is watching them, so yeah. Um, we're gonna just maybe, like, go to some parks today, local parks. We're in, like, southern Florida, I'd say. Uh, yeah, we're in Naples, so. There's some cool things that I saw, um, I caught, like, 100 anoles. Not 100. I caught, like, 10 anoles throughout the location, and I also saw a, um, black rat snake. I took a photo, because I couldn't hold it and do, like, a photo shoot, so, yeah. I'm actually into herping, kind of, so this is kind of, like, a new type of video. I want to see how you like it, so, yeah. Hope you enjoy. Actually, before we start the video, everyone, I actually went to, um, went to Iguana Land and met Thai Park and all the employees. It's a really fun place to go if you're in Florida, or you're going to visit Florida. And I know it's, like, really famous. I didn't know it was, like, a big deal, like, uh, because, like, I know that like, Brian Bartruck, Clint, the, um, Dave Kaufman, they've all been there, and, and Nerd. It's really cool to be, like, somewhere that, like, they've been because it's, like, they're bigger influencers, definitely. So, it's really interesting. And uh, it's a really fun place to go. So, you can check it out if you want to. It's really a really fun place. And, uh, it's a little bit north of your life now. But, um... Let's just go on with the herping video. Everyone, I'm in Corkscrew Park, and I, um, yeah. Yeah, we're herping here, so, yeah. I'm on a boardwalk right now. Uh, I got this book, so hopefully it's gonna help me with identification. Okay, so here's a green and all. I haven't found any on this trip. This place isn't actually that cool, but I found a green and all. I don't like it that much, this place, generally. But, um, I found a green and all. I definitely haven't seen any on this trip. Definitely have a different structure. And oh, yeah. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, he's he's on that leaf or tree. I think it's female. But uh, yeah, they're definitely a little bit bigger on average. I think it's really interesting. See any on this trip yet? I was kind of excited. I thought this place was crap, but I think. I'm optimistic now that I saw a green and all. Hopefully there will be some snakes on the boardwalk. It's just really populated. I don't really like that. I'm herping. Unless it's like unavoidable and here in Florida it's not really unavoidable. It plays like New York. It's kind of unavoidable because it's really near like the biggest city like ever. In the US I think or something. Huh. That's where I go. The good places like Harriman, Bear Mountain, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm in like... I don't know, I don't really like this place that much. I definitely don't recommend it for a herper like, to actually find herbs. Uh, especially if you're like a local, because I'm sure you've seen a green and all, or like a bunch of green and all before if you're like a local herper. If you're a tourist, they're a little more uncommon. But like, if you live in South Carolina, they're definitely more common. But brown roll is like, brown roll is like more common, like uh, up north a little more, like uh, the Carolinas. Oh, that guy went. I really lost them, but um, yeah, they're definitely more common than the Carolinas and stuff. And uh, uh, can't flip anything here, but like um, yeah, the green rolls are more common in Carolina, so. but brown rolls are like, usually more confined to Florida. These are more near the Caribbean, but like green rolls are the native ones, and it's good to see that I saw one. Right here, I saw a bunch of brown rolls. Couldn't catch them. Yes. So on the boardwalk, it's hard to catch a little on the boardwalk. But, uh, yeah. No snakes, and, yeah. Or, there probably is, but, like, I can't go off trail, so. Might be going somewhere else later today. Hopefully. Because I don't really like this place so much. I don't really recommend it, but, like, we're just, like, really restricted, and, like, ah. Uh, it's like, where did I go? Yeah, you can basically find all the stuff in the local park, and it's more like a birding spot. There's a lot of birding hippies and stuff. There's like a bird right there. I also got this feel good. That's probably the one really good thing that came out of Snatter and all Audubon Society, Reptiles and Amphibians. Really cool. I like it. Definitely recommend this product, so. That gift shop. Although, most of the stuff I'm not going to be able to take a picture of. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. 
Oh, I'm confused some more updates if I see anything else, which I might not. Or if I go here somewhere else later, I'll definitely tell you. Uh, so sure. Crap, I just saw some otters on the board back. That was definitely a treat. There's some otters, where are they? They just dumped into the water. They escaped. They were all like right here. I know, we, came, we walked up on them too fast. I didn't realize yeah. they were just around the corner from some otters. Oh, but that, that was pretty cool to see. Cool. Really cool. Yeah, running away. Some otters. Oh, there's one. Right here. See it? Between oh, the yeah. branches? Oh, right there. Swam away. Camera shy. Huh. These guys are all camera shy, but that was fun seeing all those otters. They were just, just laying on the board. That's cool. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. See, I just asked the universe to manifest. Some raccoons over there in that tree, I think. This isn't a fully herping thing, but like, still. Yeah. Let's see. The lighting's kind of bad here, so I'm just going to try to, like, adjust it. But, uh, yeah. Some raccoons in that tree over here. I'm on, like, a pretty high deck. It's a pretty nice view right here. I'm definitely more opt optimistic about this park now. That I've seen the raccoons and the otters. And there's a chance there's going to be, like, a snake or something. That's really cool on trail. Or near trail. Oh, that's really interesting. Up there. Are there? Yeah. Four. I'll tell you if you see anything else. Yeah. There's an alligator up ahead. See that thing? It's on a track. Still, it's moving. It's like 100 feet away. Oh, how well you can just see it. Look, it's right. I don't know if you can see the alligator, it's like a picture finding thing. It's really cool up ahead. An alligator. Wild one too. Last time I think I saw a wild crocodilian was in Costa Rica. I didn't do a video about that. I don't even know if I even had this YouTube channel. Um, and that was the same duck we saw with the very red head. That alligator just went away, so Let's see if I don't face anything else. Usually they're not very shy because we, on the berm, you know where we are, we can walk by, they don't move, they're just like this, you know, drying up. There's a big like alligator <laughs> over there. Where? You see? Oh, that one, yeah. Oh, him. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Sorry, I thought you'd seen the better one. It is big, though. He is big, yes, but you know, bigger and better. Yeah. It's cool. 
that's the second yeah. alligator I saw today. Is it? The other one I saw there was quite a distance now. This is, I want you to send this to my friend. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll get it right there. Lisa was like in Aniaga or something. Before. I think it was in Aniaga or Carmel. I think it was in Aniaga. It's really cool. So it's definitely more close up. It's like 40 feet away. Um, I think it's bigger than the one that I saw earlier. And what's the bird behind? Oh, that's an alligator, and I think the other one was like an antiaga. I had to be really quiet because there was a lot of birds right there. Birders don't like loud noises like pesky kids or something. I don't, I don't know where my mom, my grandma, or my grandpa is, but I don't know. There's a lot of other people there. I don't know. But I'm just exploring and definitely having a good time. This is on trails. Don't really have to be worrying about like getting super lost. I am. First comes first, I'll text my mom and I'll wait for it like the visitor center. Also, she's with my grandma and grandpa. And they're both super slow. They go like one mile per hour or something. So yeah. So if I see anything else turtle right there. I'm going to identify it with my handy little book right here. But, um, in the meantime, yeah. I'll tell you what it is in about one second. I think it's one of these. It's either a red-bellied turtle of Florida, red-bellied turtle, or a southern painted turtle. That one right there. So, yeah. I saw two alligators. Actually. Oh, yeah. Found my mom. <laughs> a skink right there. Oh, a skink. Yeah. Do you see the blue tail? Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah, I also found a skink. I wasn't able to catch it. It's, it's a boardwalk and it's hard to catch things on the boardwalk. But it was really cool seeing that skink. If I see anything else, hopefully the next thing I want to see is definitely like a snake. Just like climbing up here. Possibly a non-venomous one so I could get a little closer. <laughs> but there are uh, pygmy rattlesnakes around here, so. Hmm? She'll be a tree if I saw one of those. Expecting like a racer. I found a really big gator, let's say like 50, 100 feet away from me, 75. But it's huge. It's 10 plus, I think. Looks like I eat root. Passing by. It's really cool. Gator. Really large one. Six. Okay. It's like a juvenile with one of the birds that we've been seeing a lot. Just hanging out here. I don't want to scare you away for the birders. Oh, crap. I know the bird would really like to see. <laughs> Red tree sap. Hope it's not blood. Hee <laughs> ha No, seriously. I'm scared. This is the end of the herping video, and today I have some good news. I'm going to show you something. I hope you're excited. This isn't the container that I'm putting them in. Because I'm going to put them with the substrate, but uh, yeah. Remember I put Charlie and Kiram together? Uh, sorry, I haven't been doing updates, but... Kiram, she laid eggs. Uh, I'm gonna incubate them soon. It's hard to see if they're fertile. I'm just gonna check like a little a few more times and put Sharpie over them. But here I wanna show you. The eggs, I just found them. And I'm changing it from this because, uh, oh crap. Duh, oh crap. Tony said that they, the, um, the container might mold. If, um, if I keep them in there, so. What I'm switching it to is that thing. And that's a bit of a small enclosure for them, but I'm going to switch them to Charlie's old enclosure that we're not using right now. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the herping video. We're out of Florida right now, back home. 
Here, share them. I don't know if you even seen share them in the video. But, uh, yeah, that's her. She's the Harlo uh, yeah, Harlequin female aggressive gecko. Proven. She is from Tiki's Geckos. I don't think she was produced there. We don't have lineage or anything. But, um, yeah. I'm really excited about this. See you in the next one. I'm probably going to make another breeding video. So, hope you like and subscribe.